Good morning guys, I just woke up and decided to make this video. Today I'll be modding the Steel Dive 1970S, the bronze one. Excellent, I think excellent model for modification, 44 millimeters case, uh, 40, almost 47 lug to lug, 13.5 thickness, very comfortable watch, very good quality, the bezel action is excellent here. And I will be basically swapping the dial to, to this one. This is the brass dial I just made. And I really want to see how it looks like together. So we have here black, black painted background with the golden koi fish. I think I imagine that it will look very good. But let's try. And also I had another option, I thought maybe I can use Eddie's Dive, uh, basically the same watch, a little bit cheaper, but Eddie's Dive has polished hands and this one has brushed hands, you can see, uh, it will be very different. And I think I will use Steel Dive just for the hands, just for the hands, yeah. Okay, and also I will change the case back, of course, and I will polish polish the, the crown, remove the logo from the crown. I'll show you every step. Okay, let's get started. First, we're gonna open the case, of course. By the way, a lot of people ask me about, about the tools I use, the toolkit for modern watches. And I'm waiting for the first, first try uh, of the tools I ordered. I'll post it on my website. So basically all the tools that you need for modding your watch, not the same as AliExpress when they put their 50 items, which you don't really need it even once. Uh, yeah, you will see it soon. So right now let's remove the movement. Just like that. It is already a beautiful watch, but I made the dial and I really want to try how it will look like. Really excited. I'm not gonna use this dial anymore, so I don't need any, any film on the dial to protect it from scratches. Just like that. And you know, when I make some mods, uh, when I make some bronze mods, then it's really hard to find something online. I mean, just the case, just the bronze case of the good quality. So I always end up using Steel Dive or 80s Dive because it just cannot beat the quality and the price. Okay, so let's try. Yeah, this dial doesn't have doesn't have uh, feet, so we're gonna use dial dots. Plus, we don't have the date window here, so. It's really easy to, it's really easy to stick it. I just had a question on YouTube if if these dial dots are really reliable or maybe they'll, I will be, uh, the dial will move eventually. No, it won't move anywhere for sure because over time it becomes only more sticky and hold the dial even better. So you yeah, don't be don't be afraid, it won't move. Then I like to cut these pieces that are too big. Yeah, just make sure you don't put this double side scotch tape too close to the date wheel because maybe when you when you put the dial it will squeeze squeeze this glue a little bit and it may come on the on the wheel. You want to avoid it. It happened only once when I modded the watch, then I couldn't change the date, it was stocking, so yeah, I figure out that it's because of the dial dot. Then you will ask me, how do you center the dial? How do you know where is perfect 12? Very easy to check. So basically you take your old dial, which is 3.8 o'clock. like that then you get a marker 
and you mark on the moment 12 o'clock mark. That's it. That's more than enough if you don't have a date window on your dial. There you go. It won't go anywhere and you can notice that I made the inner diameters a little bit smaller than regular dials. So you can you can place the dial more precisely, I would say. It won't be shifted to left, right, up and down because it's almost almost touching the pole of the movement. Okay, so now we gonna set the hands. I still want to adjust the time 24 hours to see when when is the midnight. Yeah for this mod I would use an H3038 but I do not have it in stock right now and I cannot wait so I'll be using regular 35. Wait that's the 12. And again, precision here is not very important. Take a closer look, make sure you push it enough. And this one should be perfectly on 12. 12 is perfect. Let's try 3 o'clock, looks beautiful, 6 is beautiful, yeah, it's done. Now I'll press it all the way down. And the last hand. Look at this beautiful alignment, I love it. Yeah, look and since I can see that it is perfect from one side I don't really need to check from any other positions because I'm sure that it's gonna be gonna be the same now I'm gonna remove the crown I didn't coat this dial even though it's made of brass so it's gonna age but that's what I want to get I want to get this this aging effect on the dial as well because you see the hands are brushed the case is not really aged here there are some fingerprints but it's still shiny and the dial itself is brighter gold than the case or hands so I want to get the same the same kind of darker color on the dial and I think after a while it will get that effect. Beautiful. Okay, and right now I don't know, you want to see you want to see how I remove the logo from the crown? I'll show you. So basically I'm using two kind of sandpapers, one to remove the top layer, the logo itself, and another one for polishing it. And yeah, you have to do it in one direction. You can see it's already it's coming off a little bit. Because brass is relatively soft metal, so it's not really hard to remove it. There you go. Okay, now it's completely, completely clean. And actually it looks good already, but I want to polish it. Let's see how it looks like. Here we go, it's polished and indeed it looks much better. 
And first I thought I will engrave something here, but now I'm not sure. I don't know, the dal is koi fish, so maybe some, some fish theme, but what exactly? I have no idea yet. Anyway, this mod gonna be for sale, so if you want to engrave something, you have some idea in your mind, I can do it for you with no additional cost. Looks perfect. It's raining right now, but I hope you can hear me well. So that's the final look and I decided to use brown leather strap with the bronze buckle. And for the case back, it's a steel, silver with a glass. So you can see the movement. I'm not sure, maybe I should get the, the bronze one, the rose gold, shiny. But this one looks good too. So that's what we get. I think it looks very beautiful. This mod will be available on Mod for Thai shortly after I post this video. So the dimensions of the watch again: 44 millimeters case, uh, 40, almost 47 lug to lug size. Original one was 13.5, but this one is 13 millimeters thick, so it's more comfortable. The crown can be engraved if you would like to. And the dial, homemade dial, made by myself. Brass dial with no coating. Sapphire glass, waterproof. The bezel insert has uh, blue luminous, by the way. Very beautiful, and the hands have green. That's it. I hope you like this mod. Thank you for watching. And if you want to see if you want to see how I make the dials, then leave me a few comments. So we'll see if if it's really interesting. I'll try to make some video. Thanks again. See you later. Almost forgot to show you how it looks like on my hand. So I want to remind you 17 centimeters wrist. It feels and looks very very nice bronze buckle and let me show you the loom as well beautiful isn't it very bright just decided to show you the black leather strap i think it looks extremely good matching with the bro with the black bezel insert which one is better, you think? Brown or black? Let me know, please.